everyone, my name is Brent Bennett and I'm part of the Muck Guest Artist Education Team. For today's session, we're working through one of my favourites and I think it's um, one of the ones that are bang on trend right now and everyone should master and it's that 90s face frame. The reason I am introducing this application technique is because it's a little bit different to most. It's about um, applying this sectioning and application with accuracy and as much stability as we can. So um, it's still very, very quick and it's got max payoff because it's a visual face frame, but it's a really good one to introduce to the salon and get everyone trained up on because it's really, really fast and it's got max payoff. So this session is all about the 90s face frame. The reason that I gravitate towards this one, I like it the most, is because one, it's bang on trend and it's a technique or an end result a lot of people are talking about at the moment. The other reason I like it is because it's so easy. And because it's so easy, it means that we can spend a little bit more time on making sure that our formulation is bespoke to our client, um, making sure that the section itself mirrors the haircut so we can complement the haircut as much as we can. And with the application method or the sectioning method that I've introduced, it's to keep this technique as simple as possible with maximum payoff. So I have gone in and pre-deposited my global tone and the formulation that I've used is one that uh, quite a number of people have asked for recently in the creative group and that is a copper tone. Now with my coppers I like to add violet and I know that seems a bit strange but the reason that I add violet to my copper is to burn off that um, residual warmth where some clients feel as though their coppers are a little bit too brassy. So I introduce a countering tone to make sure that my coppers sit sort of burnt out, so a bit more flat. So the formula for my global color is 8.4, uh, 1073 and violet concentrate with 6% uh, because really here is the first time my client. The face frame color, however, is a combination of a couple of colors which um, I've formulated to make sure that this section sits really, really cool. So it is a really good offset against the warmth that's through the back. So the formulation for the front is 9.2 slate and 5522. So our intense file. So I think that I'll step straight into the sectioning of the front and start applying that section just to show you um, the ease of this method. One thing that uh, we need to be critical of is the front of someone's hairline changes dramatically depending on the client and personally I find it really difficult to foil around someone's hairline because it changes so dramatically and there are times where you can't pick up those really really fine pieces of hair so why not apply in reverse right? So I section out a geometric shape, I start my first foil placement from the back of the section and then I piggyback them all on top of each other until I get to the front. So we're foiling backwards. You can obviously do this as a solid section and not foil it at all. However, if you do have a client that needs to be pre-lightened, then this is the technique that I would use to pre-lighten that section from back to front, not front to back. Just gives you a little bit more stability and accuracy with your uh, placement. So I'll jump in.
So just to recap on the 90s face frame, I think there's a couple of really key points that we need to be critical on. One of them is the formula. So making sure that the colors that we choose within a 90s face frame, um, make sure that the front one does really contrast against the back because you want that money shot. You want to make sure that that front section does pop against the back section. Uh, the other thing which I think is really important, especially with my application method, is the sectioning. So I think um, with a different approach, so starting from back to front and making sure that you have that base point where you section out a geometric, a geometric shape so you can foil forward does give you a lot of stability. Whereas if you're going around um, the hairline of a client, it can be really difficult at times. So this is done. I'm gonna set this aside to process for 35 minutes and then we'll come back and take a look at this result. So, finished result for our 90s face framer. Uh, this technique packs a lot of punch. It's really super, super fast and easy. It just comes down to a quick section behind the ear, right up to the front, and apply your section backwards, just so you have that stable point to apply your foils from. I have chosen to go with a really cool shade against this warm, and I think it pops really nicely, but Formulation is entirely up to you. So, 90s face frame. I think everyone should upskill and get on board with this one as fast as you can.